Hey guys, and welcome back to the NC500. Last week, we took you around the North Coast. This is Scotland. Wow, wow, wow. I was not expecting that. We've just seen the Northern Lights. They are, oh my God, look you at them. You can see them. And now we officially arrived on the West Coast. And it is stunning. We haven't had the best weather for the last two days, so we bombed down a bit of the west coast, stopped in a couple of places just to have some lunch and things like that and to stay over the night. But now we are looking forward to a nice bit of a sunnier day. We're going to go and head to a nice beach. It's just started raining. Don't say it. No, there's a few little <laughs> spots spits around but yeah Scottish weather is very up and down you would have seen in the north we were blessed with really really good weather and on the west coast it's just absolutely beautiful drives and stunning beaches the color of the water you could be in the bloody Caribbean it's absolutely stunning crystal clear white sand the turquoise water it's just a shame we have a little bit of rain and wind coming in now but on a good day, I bet this beach is rammed in the summer. That's all you really see. And when your weather's not great, you can't really go to the beach. So we've just been enjoying being parked up at Park Ups. We had a movie day yesterday. We've done lots of baking. It's been incredible. But today we vowed that no matter what the weather does, we're gonna get out there, see what the West Coast has got to offer. Let's go. I found a gift shop, so may Chris pull over? Don't see many of these on the NC500 guys. Gutted, I haven't been able to collect barely anything. So come on. Look how insane the Isle of Harris looks. We're going there baby. Stay tuned. Wow, that looks insane. So we go in for a souvenir and we walk out with loads and loads. We've got a pesto seaweed sauce sort of thing. We've got some hot chocolate. And a nice little NC500 post thing. Guys, whenever you're passing, support the local. We absolutely love it. I don't care how much you spend. I just think like on this NC500 trip, you're really not going to spend a lot because there's not a lot of no. places to go and eat or do. So go and give back to the locals. We're going to head just down the road to a little beach now check that out and then it looks like they've got a dump station here as well to be able to get rid of all of our toilet waste and stuff like that and the sun is trying to come out guys it's coming out oh there or what oh yeah get your ball fledge oh oh i've just kicked it under the van <laughs> we're ready we're ready to rock let's go and see what this gallock beach is all about we're not going for a swim yet Another beautiful, gorgeous, white sandy, blue sea beach. And we're the only ones here again. We've literally had this whole NC500 to ourselves. It has actually felt like that. Yeah. We've haven't been like overcrowded at all with like many vans or anything. No. So guys, if you're gonna come, make sure you do it out of season because you get it all to yourself. more invitable. Should we go I in? I love that word. Invitable. Should, Should we go in? You fancy it? No. Oh. <laughs> you don't fancy a swim? I just know it's going to be so cold after you saying that it was freezing and you went in a winter wetsuit. You might love it though. Oh uh, yeah. I will. I will get in the water at some point. I am going to do it. I just don't know if I fancy it right now. Fair one. But we're just going to have a nice little walk along this beach now. There's like a lovely path that goes like over the little mound. So we're going to go and see what's up there. And then it's again time for lunch. Don't you think? It is. So what are we having today? 
We're gonna have greens on toast today, it's what we like to call greens on toast. It's basically like spinach, uh, butter beans, peas, all like mixed together on toast with a bit of natural yogurt. Might sound disgusting, but we made it once out of a recipe book and we just become obsessed. Yeah, it's awesome. So delicious, so tasty, and it's quite healthy. So that's what we're gonna have for lunch. is like quicksand. Look at the how deep your feet sink in. Look at it. Let's see how cold it is. Oh, whoa, whoa, is, whoa, watch your feet. That is quicksandy, isn't it? I just want to see how cold it is. Not that bad? That is pretty cold. That is cold. Ice cold. So, you know what Fletch is like. He's gone and lost his ball again. Wait, so, bought it. yeah, literally bought it yesterday. So, Sam's going up on the path to try and find out. I'm going to go along the beach and let's hope we find it. They're not expensive, but I just don't want to go into the sea. I don't want to litter. And he has a pain in the ass without his ball. He just barks. So, let's uh, find your ball. Find your ball then, Fletch. Where is it? It shouldn't even be that hard to find. It's a bright yellow ball. So, we hadn't found his ball. I say hadn't because literally, I've just found this uh, golf ball. Anyone knows me, I used to play a lot of golf, so always finding a ball is decent. But Sam has just spotted his ball on the beach, right in the middle, way further back than we thought it was. I thought it was going to be over by the rocks. It's down there. But it's down there. At least we found it. And we're a golf ball up now. Buzzing! He <laughs> got him! Did you know he was here the whole time? Good boy! This is what we wanted! This one! <laughs> Go! Back at the van now. We're gonna go and check out, there was like this tiny little Morrison's. It wasn't very big at all, it was like the size of a spa shop. Just two minutes back that way. So I think we're going to go and check that out because when you're on the NC500 there isn't a lot of shops or especially supermarkets. We like to call in, see what they've got, like I say, support the local as well, even if it's just a couple of bits, and then go and empty our toilet. Fletcher is absolutely chin strapped after that walk on the beach. Guys, Chris made some vegan shortbread yesterday. So good, eh? What do you reckon? coming to a cookbook near you soon. He's getting quite the baker. First is his millionaire shortbread, flapjack yesterday and these shortbreads and they are delicious. You got the keys. I got the keys. Guys, we have finally found some stuff to go in our toilet. We've been looking for it for ages. We've been using like normal toilet stuff at the moment because uh, literally that's all we can find. We haven't been able to go to any cam fan shops, haven't seen any, but this was £14.50. That's daylight robbery, I reckon. I think that is a lot of money. But again, supporting the local businesses, it helps us out, so we're doing our bit. Are you ready to hear the road again? We're ready. Mwah. Feeling a bit warmer now, isn't it? It is a lot warmer. <laughs> this is what we want. Warmer weather in Scotland. What a spot for a bit of lunch! I'm just about to whip up our green beans on toast. So, and then I'm trying to talk Sam into eating outside. Outside, looking over the lake. We've got our coats on. It is warming up a little bit. That's the plan. So, this is what we use to make it. One, two, three. 
Boom, there it is, look at that. Green beans on toast. Now let's head outside. How is it, not too cold? Mm. You cold? I'm eating it quick. How is it though? Delicious. So you're eating it quick, what, go back inside? No, because it's going cold quick. Oh. Lunch with a view. We're gonna abort this mission, it's raining, guys. Let's go. Oh, it's raining a little bit outside, so I'm actually gonna sit down and enjoy my lunch now. Oh, this, uh, now I've got lunch with a view. <laughs> Woo! That was a lovely lunch inside the van. Uh, we have just made a coffee and a tea. We've just sat out there. Fletcher has had a really good play with another Spaniel. You absolutely loved it, didn't you? It was another male, which he doesn't normally get along with, but this other Spaniel he got on with really, really well. So that was nice. But yeah, we're gonna now hit the road again, carry on heading down towards Sky, and just see if we see any more cool spots on the way. The van situ at the moment. Just gotta get it all locked down. Yeah, whenever we're transiting, we have to change the van around because we use the front so much for dumping stuff. We're just going to make our bed as well because we hate not having our bed made and we have to do it with the back doors open. So let's do that, shall we? Perfect. This is how we make the bed. And Fletcher always cries when we make the bed because he wants to come up and say hello to Chris out the back. He thinks he's missing something. That's his he trouble. He does. He thinks he's missing out. He's not missing out on anything. Not even my pretty face sometimes. He literally just gets up, comes over, sniffs you, turns around, bish bosh bosh. And then waits for a treat. Look, we have enough of throws, we have a lot of pillows. You need it in the Scottish weather. You do, yeah, for sure. Soon it's gonna be summer and we're not gonna need nowhere near as much. Thank you, baby. Peace out. Let's go. How did you get out here? <laughs> exactly, yeah. I want to know too. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Up. One dog in. Guys, there is a red stag here in the car park and I thought it was stuffed. We drove in, it was right by the sign. I thought, oh, this must be a stuffed animal. I thought that's a bit weird. And then it started blinking and it's actually real. It is such a beautiful animal. The antlers on it are amazing. Sam's talking to it in a uh, and ooh. I'm trying to see if it wants to come over. Looks like he's actually a local here. There's a sign that says, please do not feed him and do not get too close. He's a handsome fella though. A handsome, handsome fella. Guys, on this road down the west coast, it's taken us ages, isn't it? Yeah. We just seem to be pulling in everywhere just to take some photos, get the drone up, because this is just beautiful. to five so i think we're gonna go and try and find somewhere nice to park up for the night enjoy the final bit of sunshine today and then carry on tomorrow let's do it let's go you ready fletch he's so ready to chill out he's knackered <laughs> Good morning guys. We have just woken up really early. Not intentionally, just it was really light. It was coming through the window. I didn't put the blinds down last night. And there's not much of a cloud in the sky. And we are up for sunrise. This is gonna be magical, I think. We're facing the right way. 
park up's perfect. Just got the kettle on, just gonna enjoy a coffee. Have a nice, slow, peaceful. What a place to have some breakfast, eh? This is the park up of all park ups. We've always wanted a park up like this and it is stunning. Now to enjoy these bad boys. It's time to move on because we are well aware that today most of the schools break up around the UK and it's their two weeks off for Easter. So we kind of want to head over to the Isle of Skye just before the crowds get there. So we're now going to take a drive around the last piece of the west coast of the NC500. I believe there's like quite an awesome like pass that you drive through as well. So that's going to be really cool before we head off to the Isle of Skye. The sun is beautiful. I really wish we could stay in this spot a little bit longer, but we will definitely be back. So we are just driving the Apple Cross Pass. We don't know which way we're coming into it. We don't know if we're gonna be driving up the pass or down the pass, but we have just drove up one side of the mountain and the views are just absolutely unbelievable. It takes me back to Europe. It is that steep in some of these parts. This road is crazy. Proper zigzagging up, proper hairpins. It's cool, it's giving me those European vibes, all right? This is the UK right now. Wow. We have officially driven the pass. It was not the side that we thought it was. When you got to the top, we enjoyed that viewpoint. And then after that, there is the most incredible road with loads of hairpins that takes you down the other side of the mountain. And Olive absolutely smashed it. And you drove it, mate. I actually drove it so that Chris could fly this drone right now. But no, it was beautiful i'm so glad we came that way so it's definitely worth making sure that when you do your nc 500 route if you're down on the west coast is to check it out because you might not necessarily go through it if you haven't planned it out so apple cross pass you need to go to guys we have made it to the isle of sky it has been a great trip along the west coast really really enjoyed it we're just gonna chill out here now and what did you think of the west coast darling the west coast was absolutely breathtaking honestly i know we didn't do an awful lot on this vlog other than driving Are you all right buddy what's up you want to come out with daddy yeah we just did lots of incredible drives but that is basically what the west coast is all about is stunning park ups the best park ups you probably ever have in your life and amazing scenery i've absolutely loved the west coast that is kind of us now of the nt 500 we haven't like completed it properly because you're meant to do the loop back up to inverness yeah. from here but we want to see sky we might even see some more of the island which we are really really excited for hopefully mm. get a few more surfs in but yeah. as sam was saying about that road quickly that road down the west coast was probably one of the best roads I've ever driven on. It was. Because yeah. considering we've driven across a lot of Europe, mm. that was a magical, magical road to drive down. So I would highly recommend it to any of you guys to go and do it. Especially now that the MC500 is just getting busier and busier and more popular. Do it in the low season, you won't regret it. No, not at all. But yeah, just give back to the community. They have so many people driving through their little village now. And I think it's important that we give back to them. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. But the NC500 is incredible. Scotland is incredible. If you haven't seen it already. Make sure you go and do it, guys. We're not done with Scotland just yet. We we're going to carry on exploring all the incredible highlands. So we'll see you next time. See ya!